hey guys welcome back to the channel so we're going to start a new tutorial and today we are going to create this boat house in maya so i have imported a character from our brushes in maya you can go to generate and into this get brush and you can get this mesh so i imported this for the reference and to start this model i'm going to take a cube to create the base shape of this house let's change the parameters of it we're going to need something like this so i'm going to place this character here and make it a little bit bigger go to front view and uh, let's place this cube on the grid and i think this should be big enough i think we need to change the depth So these parameters looks good. Now I'm going to place this character here. So you can also freeze it, put it in a layer. Now let's start with the base. So first we're going to model all these pillars. And let's take another cube. I'm going to take something like 20 and we can adjust the height later. Now go to vertex mode and uh, select these vertices then pull them down to change the height and I think this much should be fine again go to front view and I'm going to create a duplicate place this one in the middle then press shift D to create a duplicate with transformation. Select all these. Go to right view, create duplicates and place them on the other side. So what you can do is you can change the pivot like this to the center of the grid. Open your channel box and in the scale Z, because this is facing the Z axis, I'm going to add minus one and place them on the other side like this now let's create all these supports so for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to take another cube bring this out go to right view change these parameters
go to front view and let's place this on these cubes go to front view again and we need to create a duplicate and place one on this side so let's select this press ctrl d to duplicate and place it here like this and let's select these two again and create another duplicate and place them down here so these looks fine now what we need to do is we need to create these inclined support so we can select this one create a duplicate and then rotate it make sure you have turned on the discrete rotation so press ctrl shift right click and turn this on rotate it like this go to right view and we need to place it here like this so what you can do is you, if you scale like this it's going to scale in all the direction and you're going to ruin the alignment so what you need to do is press ctrl shift right click and change this to component and if you scale it in the z axis it's going to scale perfectly you don't need to align it again so just change the position and uh, turn off the discrete rotation and just add a little bit of orientation like this and we are done maybe a little bit more scale go to front view select it change it to world and just push it back like this now select it create a duplicate and push it back on the other side and this time we need to rotate it on the opposite side so just rotate it like this go to front view again select this axis and move it back go to right view and make sure it's aligned so turn off the discrete rotation and rotate all right so this looks good now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select all these supports and first i'm going to put all these in a group so let's press ctrl g to group and i'm going to rename it as support one and let's select all these delete go to front view select this group modify center pivot press ctrl d to duplicate press x to snap to the grid place it in the center press shift d to duplicate with transformation and we are done with this 
but we need to add few more things as you can see that uh, we have these supports on the side as well so let's do these and for that i'm going to select this again create a duplicate and first remove this from the group rotate it like this turn on the discrete rotation go to front view and place it like this let's change it to component mode and scale it down also change the rotation so this looks fine go to left view and align it here like this now again create a duplicate change this to word place it here like this and rotate again So if you are struggling with the rotation what you can do is you can press D and change this pivot to this point here. So now it's going to rotate from this point so you don't have to worry about alignment too much. So turn off your discrete rotation place it here like this and then rotate. and scale and select these two create another duplicates and place them on the other side go to right view and place them on these cubes like this so our base is done and I think we have added all the details. Let's start working on this house. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to add these side supports. So we're going to take uh, some cubes. Bring it out like these and add some width and height and depth. So let's go to top view and place it here like this.
maybe a little bit more to the outside like this let's save our file one more time so that we don't lose the progress and uh, i'm going to pull this to the top and then go to vertex mode select the vertices like this or what we can do is we can add a little bit of more width and height let's make it bigger like this now let's go to vertex mode select the vertices down here and pull them down you can press v to snap to the point and it will work just fine so let's go to top view again and this time i'm going to select this press ctrl d to create a duplicate then press d and x to change the pivot to the center of the grid go to channel box and in the x axis i'm going to change the value of scale to minus one and again i'm going to select these two first i'm going to combine them then press d and x to change the pivot to the center of the grid go to wireframe mode to make sure that pivot is in the center create duplicates go in the scale z add minus one and place these two on the other side So our base is almost done so let's make this diagonal shape so for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to select all these and i'm going to go to deform and select lattice go to attribute editor and in the lattice shape i'm going to turn down these t division and make them the default value of 2 go to lattice point and select the points of these corners so only these two points and pull them up like this and i think this much is fine let's select all these and pull all these up to make it a little bit more taller like this now go to edit delete by type history to remove this lattice now select this and take multi cut tool and i'm going to add one edge here like this select this edge and change it to world mode first and then scale it down like this and i'm going to select this again and split and bevel to make this doorway like this and i think this much should be fine now select this face press ctrl e and add some offset like this then intrude press shift and push this inside now select this face and i'm going to extract it go to modify center pivot
and let's create this frame for the door first so select this and uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to isolate it then select this edge then split and do the same for this one select both of them then bevel like this select these two and pull these up and one more time extract this face so select this part bring everything back so i'm going to select this part only for the frame modify center pivot and extrude like this so we are done with the frame now we have this face which we need to create the door so i think i'm going to leave this video here for today and in the next one we are going to create the roof the door and the windows and few more other details so this environment might take four or five videos at least so i hope you liked this and uh, if you did then make sure to subscribe to the channel and drop a like on this video and i will see you in the next one thanks for watching